had a story about cyberpunk and CD Projekt Red. We had some reports come on all of, all over the place, namely from Reuters, uh, that CD Projekt Red was looking to start that production phase. Uh, you know, they're looking at the different projects and stuff like that. They're uh, looking at cyberpunk, though, and they're considering that multiplayer ed- elements could be in the Cyber 27, 2077 sequel. So multiplayer in some format may be coming to cyberpunk 2077 uh the next edition of it so i mean uh when i know you're not the biggest you know saying cyberpunk supporter but how do you feel about some of these changes this doesn't really strike me as a game that i would want to play with other people um and i know i know me and you always have this back and forth for like you'd be like nah just let me let me play with the homies and i'm kind of just like nah fuck the homies (laughs) i just like i i see certain like like i like skyrim the only reason I would want to play Skyrim multiplayer is because I already did everything I needed to do in Skyrim. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll play. I'll, I'll get more life out of this. Um, I don't really like forced multiplayer shit in games. And if they're looking at something like multiplayer in terms of like GTA Online multiplayer, uh, that's I would hate that. Uh, if it's looking for like a co-op thing, maybe if the story like needs it. But there are certain ways of like including people in your game without having to make like a whole multiplayer aspect of it and the reason i say this is because a multiplayer game and a single player game are very fucking different Mm -hmm. and you have to like build them differently and maybe making this game multiplayer or giving it a multiplayer component will ruin the 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 beauty and the fun of the game like for example i saw somebody jump out of a car in in cyberpunk and slow time down right to do some shit Mm -hmm. if i'm playing with you and you start slowing time down do I move slower? Am I going to be moving slow as well? Like, I got to wait up every time you do that. Like, it might fl- fuck up my flow. Maybe mm-hmm. I don't want to use the slow down time shit. Like, it's just small things like that. Um, are they going to make, are they going to nerf things to make multiplayer better? To make it more, like, like scaled down? Like, you know, like, there's just a lot that goes into it. And I don't think that this really needs a multiplayer sequel. Maybe a multiplayer DLC. And if that shit is good, why not just make a separate game? You know, instead of having to, like, make it in the main one. But... I don't really know much about the game because I didn't. I haven't played it yet. When that bitch gets, hits thirty dollars for the for the game and the DLC, you know damn well I'll cop it. But until then, I'm I'm gonna hold out on my money. Uh, I hope the best for these for the cyberpunk fans. <laughs> that was as uh, uh, measured as you could put a response on cyberpunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, 2024, try to be more positive. I'm dead. I'm dead. But uh, all right, Kendall. So looking at Cyberpunk again, and, and and you're kind of, I guess, pensioned. I feel like normally you're just like, you know, single player, you keep it cool. You'll, you know, say you do your things, but you'll dabble. You know what I'm saying? You'll dabble. You have some good mixes if the game is right for multiplayer stuff. I guess, would multiplayer make sense for Cyberpunk? Uh, personally, I didn't play the game, but yeah. it makes sense because they want more money. They put too much on the project and they probably need more out of it. And they see that they have a decent amount of player base, probably people that probably because re- it's a very replayable game, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I yes. So they, they probably see that with the success of like, you know, GTA, they're probably looking at how can we actually make a world where we can get more people to interact with each other? And I'm going to be honest, it, it's just another way to keep their game alive. Is it a good thing? Probably not, because sadly, you can't just let the game be the game and then that be it. But as one said, if they did it their own separate thing or made a different game, but to be honest, I don't think they want to build everything from the ground up again. Yeah, no, they hell they, no. They not. Oh my goodness, so, they 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 would actually they would actually cry. I don't I don't think they would want to go back to that. So it's like one of those things. Like I know somebody like when like genuinely yes, I could see that ruining your experience of the game. I understand that. Like as somebody that's watched you like go about your thought process of games, but for a lot of other people, they're probably looking like, oh, this could be dope. Like it could be another expansion. And if it fails, it fails. If it like, it might be bad for th- for the actual company, but for the players, it's just gonna be like, oh, another failed project. Okay, cool. When's when's the next uh, um update DLCs for story? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my stance on it is again, I'm always been a proponent of co op gaming. Uh, I think multiplayer in terms of like an online, like a like a lobby system, multiplayer matches more of a like akin to like a what's it called, a, an uncharted mode or something like that, where it's like multiplayer attached. Don't do that. I do not care for that in any sense of the sense of the word or form when it when it comes to cyberpunk. Now, co op does pique my interest. I think having some type of kind of like either offshoot or dedicated like m- like missions or dedicated you know what I'm saying sections of the story or the game where you can call in or or kind of you know 
cross wires on a connected story like everybody's on their path doing their thing you know what i mean but you can have these portions of a story where you can call in maybe somebody else do co-op missions or have a string of of of, of tasks and objectives that you can do with your friends in a co-op setting i think there's some value in that for cyberpunk and of course there's a the business drivers but i don't want to talk about that because i think kendall pretty much covered that they want to make more money bro it's multiplayer shit you got you want to make more money for this shit you know what i'm saying basics but i think from the gameplay standpoint cyberpunk is a really really big world and can you fit um like you know say like again a multiplayer in the form of gta you know what i'm saying like kind of like a heist you know what i'm saying like a heist in that sense not like a whole open lobby where you can explore the world together but maybe more contained experiences where it's maybe just the heist itself maybe you have a planning session or whatever or you need certain extra bodies to come in and on your save or uh, between different points maybe that could be a, a, a fair valuable way for them to introduce multiplayer elements but to go full full out have multiplayer like shootouts and tdm and also nah 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 this game does not need that a sequel will definitely not need that um the the sequel you know whatever that's in motion fully that just needs to be focused on how much enriching game gameplay how much refinement in the bugs and optimization and stability and how much of the again just the story can you really build uh a build on top of from what you already said in cyberpunk 2077 what you've gotten back to after rounds of crazy crazy you know what i'm saying comeback after you know what i'm saying barely being able to launch the damn game so is there room for a multiplayer in co-op specifically I think so, but that's where they need to focus if they're going to think about bringing anything multiplayer to the game. Co-op only. If it's just past that, dead it. It's not worth it, in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be valuable enough um, from an optimization and just value standpoint to bring in a full-blown multiplayer. If there's co-op elements that you can weave in, cool. I think there's I think there's value there, but outside of that, you know, probably not. At best, no. Actually, at the simplest like an arena mode like an arena like like co-op arena mode where you just take out a bunch of random different enemies across the game and stuff like that that's pretty simple that's like a like a horde mode attachment or something like that that can be fair enough but yeah there's just a lot of things to consider with it i would say be careful and be very very decisive i do not want you to tout something and then stuff ends up like last of us factions where it doesn't even come to pass so measure twice cut once